to go This time tomorrow we'll be on the road Riding with you in the sunnier day I wouldn't want it any other way modifications to make on the uh, anchoring system one of the things we've already put in but got to be wired up is the remote control or the wired remote in the cockpit that will tell us how much chain is being put out alarms and different things uh, this is at the kind of the motor end and I've taken the opportunity to take it apart give it a clean up service it ready for the new season this is um, one part of the clutch this is the actual gypsy in here in that dot is a magnet there's another magnet in there and as this goes around that's what will actually count the, uh, the revolutions and count how much chain is going in and out. This thing here is for this piece of kit which we bought when we got the windlass. Um, the idea being is that you can wind this down, it goes into that hole there, then you put your thingy <laughs> in there and you can wind it up so that's it in the down position and it's basically a ratchet which allows you on a one-to-one -one ratio to bring your chain and anchor back up if you get a complete power failure I have discovered a installation fault with it in that when I put the handle in there it fouls on here so I need to get a shorter a shorter handle if we were to ever try and use it in anger but it was an add-on that we decided to buy at the time we bought the windlass Hopefully we never need to use it. Quite awkward trying to do things with one hand whilst holding the camera. Um, it lives in that bag. Anyway, so the, the, this is the, the rope which is attached to the inside of the boat. The chain at the moment is down on the dock. sit around there and the idea of the clutch is that you can use it um, when the drum is tightened down the gypsy turns around and brings the chain back up when the drum is released because of the splines the drum will turn and then you can use it as a warping line for rope so with this bit loose so the clutches are not engaged if I press the button just the drum turns and the gypsy stays where it is so this can be then used for bringing in a line or using as your um, for your secondary anchor with that done up or nipped up it then pinch pinches the clutch together 
and then the gypsy comes into play. So that's it all back together, chain reinstated onto the gypsy. I'd like to say it lasts the season but it pays to periodically take it apart and clean it. They're worth looking after or maintaining otherwise you will end up with trouble. So part of our ongoing anchoring upgrades for the new season is last season we anchored out as we were coming France, Northern Spain, Portugal. We anchored out a lot. We've anchored a lot anyway, but we I think the anchoring was different in that we moved around a lot more. And what we were experiencing, what I've come to find out is that the chain twists as the boat moves around with the different winds and the tides. The chain twists and it twists so much that um, it starts affecting the gypsy or it goes tight in the gypsy and you've got to be careful that it'll end up kind of causing damage and uh, looking on the internet some of the ideas were kind of go into deep water put all the chain out let it spin round to untangle itself or un unspin itself and then wind it back up which you you can do but the other thing is that um, to try and help it or eradicate it is to put a swivel in We've never had a swivel, we just kind of go chain to um, shackle and then mouse the shackle and, and that's it. So I uh, did quite a bit of research onto what was a good swivel, what was a bad swivel, kind of, and ended up buying this um, Mantis swivel, which seems to be quite well engineered. Um, this bit goes onto the anchor, this bit goes onto the chain, there's a captive pin there and then um, through this bit, through this hole, we put mouse in wire, two wraps round and um, and that's it. So it, it allows the, the anchor to be onto the chain but the chain to swivel as much or as little as it feels it wants to and also when you bring in the chain when you bring in the anchor back up into its on the boat position it'll self right itself at the last bit um, yeah <laughs> it's quite big and quite shiny which is always nice um, we'll see how we go this is our Rockner anchor which we've had for a few years now it was one of the um, Chinese ones but as you can see it's um, not got any bends in it it's 40 kilos and uh, we're really happy with it what we haven't been happy with is the fact that the as we anchor and the wind blows us, the tide blows us, we get a twist in the chain. And it twists so much that it actually starts to be a problem coming through the gypsy. And we bought the Mantis swivel because it seems to be really well made. Quite a nice engineering job. And uh, this is it. So this one is the S3. It's got a working load limit of 3.2 tonne and an ultimate braking strain of 16 tonne. It gets mouse and wire through that pin and it gets mouse and wire through that hole there. And then the, uh, the chain can swivel around. So quite a purposeful looking bit of kit and uh, I think the only thing we're going to have to watch is the fact that we've got dissimilar metals um, so periodically uh, take it apart and inspect it
Have you got to put that tape on? <coughs> yeah, I'm going <coughs> to wire it up when it's up on the deck. So it's a temporary fix. I thought we were going to brush it off as it went in. Um, yeah, I forgot. Uh, yeah. Right foot looks a bit swollen. Swollen. It kind of looks a bit like a pig foot. <laughs> might have to put them in some cold water. What, where it's so hot over here? <laughs> it's certainly lovely. There are some rockners on baits down there that are still sparkling sh and shiny. You can see that's never been used, so those people obviously go in marinas all the time. I love this one. Yeah. <laughs> Steve's had those shorts for... Sorry? How long have you had those shorts for? How long have I had these shorts? Yeah. I bought them in Cyprus, in Ayanapa, in... Ninety-eight. Twenty-two years ago. They're um, a little bit worn. They're a little bit worn. And <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh! That's not nice. <laughs> they, they also don't fit. But surely you need to do them up. <laughs> they fitted up until Christmas. And then suddenly, I, look, I think it's part of my fat foot. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I've got a fat gut. <laughs> it's not funny. We've got to go on a to, diet. We used to do these up. No problem. No, they used to be a bit tight. But See, they've always been tight. Even in 1998, they, they were tight. Are <laughs> <laughs> are they are 34. <laughs> they served me well. They started off black. Yeah, almost pink now. Well, they've done a lot. They've definitely got a pink hue to them. Yeah, well, they've done copper coat. They've certainly seen a lot of work on Cordelia. All sorts. So that's the finished thing. wide on. See how we get on with that. These are pretty skank. So voila I've taken that off. 
and what they are is mosquito kind of shield things that go in the hatchway where Steve is at the moment so I've got some nice new whatever you like to call this netting here I'm going to cut it up and I'm going to renew it on here I'm just gonna scrape some of the glue off so what have I done there you go that's I'm going to staple it on one side so, so as I can make it taut on the other side taut like a tiger's bottom why have you left it so skimpy here well it won't be will it because what I was going to do was I was going to do across one side first and then pull it a bit taut a bit more tight that that isn't because look that's baggy that isn't going to work like that so I need to do it one side first then that will give me okay I can move it over a bit anyway but Mike, can I make a suggestion you can make any suggestion you like I won't listen to it but <laughs> there you go see look already yeah go on make a suggestion Dylan. you're going to need quite a few staples in it oh it won't hold just with the clamping of the wood oh no no I realise that yes sorry sorry yes so it's not just going to be like one and one and one and one you're going to need them every kind of I was actually going to put half a dozen on each side at least yeah fine so as you can see I'm stapling all the way around so as I can make it tight but not too tight Steve says I mustn't make it like a guitar string but we'll see I bet you're loving my hair Okay. That looks better, doesn't it? Really? And it's finer than that other stuff, so. Yeah. It's that bit there. And I think it's just a bit of fluff on yeah. the side. Yeah, looks alright, doesn't it? I think we're just going to have to be a bit careful because it is finer and a bit. That other stuff's almost plasticky, isn't it? This is called no see em. Oh. I know see them like see that. Them. Yeah, I know see them. And it's for the really small mosquitoes, whereas that other stuff is for. Bags are packed, are you ready to go? This time tomorrow we'll be on the road. Riding with you in the sunnier day